Hey everyone, this is Yan from Devolutions with this week's Remote Desktop Manager Pro Tip. Now, after using Remote Desktop Manager for a while, uh, there's going to be a point where you're going to have to move some entries around. Now, I'm not talking about moving entries within a data source because that's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. A drag and drop or a simple right click and a move can get your entries where you want. I'm mainly talking about moving entries from one data source and another. Now, we've looked at this in a couple other videos like exporting your entire data source or exporting your RDM configuration file. But I'm talking about maybe you wanna move a specific folder or maybe just specific entries from one RDM data source to another. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that today with a very simple process. So as I take a look at my screen here, I'm actually logged into my Password Hub personal account. Uh, now I made a kind of a security no-no and I have uh, devolutions or corporate accounts uh, in my personal account. That's something you don't necessarily want to do, obviously. So I'm going to export these out of my personal hub and import them into my business account, which is tied to my corporate account. So here I've got a folder here I already delineated where I've got some, uh, some uh, Devolutions accounts, I've got remote access, I've even got some serial numbers and so forth. Well, I can do a couple things. I can actually uh, select specific accounts that I want and right click and hit export or I can just select all the folders that I want or this entire devolutions folder. For the sake of this example, I'm going to actually select uh, these three folders here and these are the ones I want to export. So now I'm just going to simply right click and go down to export and there's a few options here. I can export the entire RDM file, which is what we're going to do. I can export the entire vault. Well, that's not what I want to do in this example. You can export a CSV file, an HTML, an Excel file, and so forth. Now, this all depends on the use case of what you're trying to do. Now, for the best security and the best compatibility, I'm going to select Export Selection RDM. So I've got 24 entries here. I'm going to select that. And then here I'm gonna have this little pop-up window that asks me what I want to do. I can remove the folders if I wanna just export all the entries, that might be helpful. I can exclude shortcuts as well, or I can include the credentials. You know, I wanna include the credentials because I don't wanna lose all those um, usernames and passwords, right? Now I'm also going to select the encrypt with a master key because I wanna make sure everything is as uh, safe as possible. So now the file will be encrypted and will require a password to import as well as all of my credentials for my entries will be included. So I'm gonna click OK. Bloop. I've, I'm gonna export this into my OneDrive folder. Uh, it's already called Devolutions Account because that was the name of my first entry there, but I think that's good. And it's gonna be an RDM file. I'm gonna click Save. All right, so there you go. Now I'm in my other uh, remote desktop manager. I'm logged into my Password Hub business account and I'm gonna go into my user vault because this is where I keep my business user accounts. Uh, I'm gonna right click on the user vault here and I'm gonna select import and I'm gonna import an RDM file, the one I just saved. And that little window will have popped up and as you can see here, I've got this Devolutions account remote desktop manager file that I just uh, exported, I'm gonna click open and a second window will pop up say import in the root or import in current folder. Well, I'm gonna import it directly in the root so it creates folders for me. Now, here's my famous master key that we won't tell anybody what it is, right? Click open. And then another window will pop up here and it shows me all the different accounts that I want to import. Obviously, yes, I wanna do that. Click okay. And then now the import process will begin. It'll take a few seconds here. And then now you'll see that I have this devolutions folder with my accounts, my remote access and serial number now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete those accounts off of my personal account so my CISO is happy with me. So as you can see, this process is actually quite simple and secure and it's all done in just a few easy steps. So that's the tip for this week. If you have any questions or comments, please visit us at support.devolutions.net or put your comments in the video below. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get more content just like this one. Thanks again and have a wonderful rest of your week.